Hi, I'm Max Wexler with the Fiercely Independent Network. We're here at the Kleinhart James Center for the Arts, and we are covering some of the Sunday panels that are going on here. Martha Frankel, who was the interviewer, didn't just do the, can you tell us about how you started? It, you know, she really had came at it having done research, and she had specific questions or something that quickly could take me there. It's so much fun to be here with Jared Moshe, who wrote it and directed it. You know, lots of uh, challenges to make it and to write it and to shoot it and to edit it. And it's a very personal uh, kind of journey for him and for me together. We went through so much to make it. It's a story about old codgers, and I happen to have a lot of old codgers that are friends of mine. <laughs> <laughs> They're all extras in it. <laughs> That's cool. And it comes to the hanging scene, and, and Lefty is, you know, looking out, seeing who's seeing out here, watching the hanging, glad to be here, and it's all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I choose, I choose because I feel like I've never done it quite before, that kind of thing, you know, uh, hopefully. There's a few things I've taken where I felt like, oh, this feels like something I've done before, but I, how do I keep it from feeling like something I've done before? My husband wanted me to see Star Wars again. So I said, okay, and we started watching it, and within 15 minutes, we were on the floor laughing because now we cannot tell the difference between Star Wars and Spaceballs, except Joan Rivers is in the good one. That's the way it is. You know, for me, who had done this small part in Ruthless People to be cast by Mel Brooks in the studio movie, and uh, we'd go in there and you know, go through the lines, and then we'd go to lunch, and you'd be moving through all these tables in this commissary, and it was like a dream, because there's Jane Fonda, and you know, we stop, and Mel knows everybody, it's like his bar mitzvah or something. <laughs> Things change, you won't believe it, you know, you'll look back at pictures of yourself, and you know, think, oh my God, why did I choose those glasses? I'm a girl. I didn't love Independence Day, but I know a lot of people do. What was that like, being the president? When that movie came up, it was science fiction, and I am not, I have been a huge science fiction fan, but um, I, there was something about the movie that felt like a lot of fun. I think uh, technology changed TV and film, that whole thing, to, this is a, theoretically the golden age of TV. I'm not entirely sure that's always the case, but um, you know, there was a lot that I think makes it uh, exciting. You know, I think uh, the advice thing is a is a, is a common uh, thing. I don't know why that suddenly came into being, and I am always uh, interested in ways that uh, those questions are masks for other things. You know, like. Um, I'm insecure, I need something. You know, I think you have to find your own security. For more from the Independent Network and to find out more about the festival, visit www.woodstockfilmfestival.com.